welcome back to my channel and to my garden. We're looking at another beautiful collector's acne today. Acnea manzana raziana. I'll put the name up for you. And it's growing here on the eastern slopes of Australia and its origin is it grows on the eastern slopes of Ecuador. So it's doing very nicely here. Um, this is the red or orangey, orangey red form and there's also a pink form. And it's a large growing species, over 50 centimetres to 100 when it's in flower, but probably around 75 centimetres. So not a small species. And the foliage is quite plainish green most of the year round, but it's sort of it's not pure green, it's sort of got um, a little bit of reddish chips and a little bit of yellow mixed in with the green. Um, but yeah, nothing, not variegated and there's quite a few variegated plants around here. There's one in front of it, a clump of um, forget-me-nots and then I've got a big variegated acnea right next to it. So if you're seeing any variegated leaves, they're not from the Manzana resiana, it's from a different plant. It likes to grow in a subtropical or tropical climate. That's what it prefers. And it looks quite different in the later stages, like the flower lasts a very long time, two to three months, and then it starts to sort of, yeah, they look thinner and narrower. And the leaves are very stiff and upright, and they have small spines. So if you're in a subtropical or tropical climate, it does really well in the ground as a landscaper in the gardens. And I've got a lot of Blanchettianas and things flowering around. I want to take you for a walk around now to look at some other plants. This is my Epiphyllium and the first one I've ever grown. Again, it's not a very pretty plant when it's not in flower, but the flowers are huge. They're like the size of a dinner plate, 24 to 25 centimeters. Magnificent, beautiful flower. Not a bromeliad, but I brought it from the bromeliad show plant sales when we went that time. You might have remembered seeing a little plant there with a picture and that's what it looked like and turned out to be. So that was a magnificent surprise. And now we're looking at a Gasmania Brita, a beautiful stunning one. I want to show you it in two stages of flowering. So first of all, it comes out in this striking, bold, um, beautiful orangey red colour all over. and you would think perhaps that's going to be it that's its stage of flowering but no there's going to be a second stage where it's going to open up with smaller yellow flowers inside it's absolutely stunning this gusmania and it's a large bright bold long lasting beautiful with the two stages of flower so it is a good value one um, i love this one in the garden it's absolutely stunning Next up, I want to show you a Neorigelia I haven't shown you before, Neo star, absolutely stunning this year. Um, because of the El Nino, we didn't have a lot of sunny days and now that the sun's out, it's just come out absolutely coloured up beautiful in flower. So that's a beautiful Neorigelia star to have. And then behind that, I have Neorigelia bird rock and it is stunning. It gets those white edges, pink centers in flowers, just a stunning, beautiful plant. This is Bilbergia bird rock. While we're on Neorigelia bird rock, I want to show you Bilbergia bird rock. Absolutely stunning when the light catches it. Just the most deepest, reddish, beautiful color. And then what else? Acnea harvey is flowering a lot. I've got a couple of those, ones under the shade next to a fasciata and ones in a bit more sun. Uh, freckles, acne of freckles, um, and then I want to go through around the side and have a look at the heliconias and have a look at the lobster claw. It is really looking good this year. Um, heaps of lobster claw flowers, beautiful. 